Hello, Miguel. How are you? Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. We are going to get started, you and me, because it is already 801. So um, there are no more classmates here. So we are going to get started, you and me, right? Okay. okay. Yep. Let's see. All right, so let's get us started last class or in uh, this uh, last Friday, right? Friday, I'm sorry. The last um, the last Thursday we stopped here. Have you ever, right? Uh, favorite ethnic dishes, basically is what we were talking. Um, like if you have ever tried any unusual dish, right, from any any other country, right? Some people, they were saying that they were trying crickets, uh, ants, and so many others. Have you ever tried something that it would be like kind of unusual, irregular? Mm. It's usual. It is so uh, the pata. Ah, oh, la sopa pata, the favorite, that yes. one, right? Yes. Yes. Do you think that one is a really be unusual? I have never eaten that uh, that dish, uh, the sopa pata. Have you, uh, your, your uh, classmates? Have you ever tried sopa pata? Do you like it? Uh -huh. Yes, I like it, super pata. You like it, okay. What else? What the other one say? Do you like super pata? Yes, no? Yes, I like it. Okay. <laughs> I'm so so. So so, all right. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to go in groups, right? Where you are for at the moment uh you are four at the moment so what we're going to do it is going to place you in pairs right two and two and i would like you that you can discuss if you have you ever tried something right or what is the ethnic food are popular in our country right basically these questions that we have here right in the bottom part so i'm gonna send for you a image on the screen right I'm going to send for you an image on the on the screen in the WhatsApp group so you can have it with you and you can discuss with your partner. ¿Qué es lo que se va a hacer? ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos a irnos en parejas porque ahorita ustedes son cuatro y vamos a discutir las oraciones, bueno, no las oraciones, sino que las preguntas que están en esta parte de abajo de la presentación. Y ya les envié la la imagen, ¿verdad? A través de lo que es el grupo de WhatsApp para que ustedes la puedan tener. Lo importante es de que ustedes puedan hablar, ¿verdad? Eh, de cualquier topic besides this one, as well, is valid too. Pueden hablar de algún tópico aparte de este, es válido. Así que vamos a ir on groups at the moment. All right. So let's see. I'm going to stop sharing and let me place you. Sure. Yes. Teacher, yes. Please. Uh, but it is necessary uh, to to use. Have you ever? Have you ever? Always. Not necessary. You might ask uh, different questions, right? Yes, it's not necessary, okay. right? Um. Here, the point is to discuss uh, regarding the ethnic food that is popular here, right? It's just only a discussion. When you use "have you ever." Es, um, es como si usted le pregunta a alguien, ¿alguna vez has hecho esto? En el caso acá, como es comida, ¿verdad? Have you ever tried it? Y usted le pregunta a la persona, ¿verdad? Mira, has, has probado esto o lo otro. Pero también le puede preguntar algo más. Uh, have you ever been in Acajutla, for example, right? It's not necessary have, just only food. Go ahead, I'm have sorry. You ever, have you ever eaten bean and rice? Have you ever eaten 
Ahí vamos a ocupar el pasado participio del verbo. Have you ever eaten okay. bean and rice? Ok, yes, yes, yes is ok, I remember. Yes, so that one, right? Uh, we are going to use that one. You can discuss about food, right? The food here in our country, something that might be um, any dish that looks for you unusual, or you can discuss about different things, right? Not only food, but different things, like the one that I was asking uh, to Milton, right? Uh, have you ever been in a Cajutla, right? You can ask to the person if they ever been in any other place. This question, have you ever, is not just only for food, but also with any other thing, right? Okay. So let me go ahead and play sharing groups. Uh, you are eight with me, we are nine. So I'm gonna stop sharing and I'm gonna place you in breakout rooms. I will appreciate it that you can join to the room. Let me see. Let's see. All right. There we go. Uh, there will be one group of three and the other ones are going to be, um, in this case, two and two. So the rooms are open, you might join to them. Okay. Y podemos este, practicar también con el have you ever eaten y el have you ever been. O sea, si has estado en algún lugar. Ok. Have you ever. Have you ever yes. been in Mexico, Ger eh, Gerardo? Live in Mexico. Mm. Have you ever been in Mexico? Yes, I live in, in Mexico at 2011 or 211. Um, almost, almost four, four months. Oh, that's right. And you, Linda, had you ever in another country? Um, yes, I, I was in the United States. Okay. And you, Alfredo, have you ever lived in another country? No. Um, no, what? No, I was um, living in another country. Uh, have you ever eaten exotic food? Uh, exotic food? Mm, no. Exotic food? Uh, in, the, in our country, uh, how do you say, uh, iguana is an exotic food. Uh, crab is exotic food. Lobster is, <laughs> lobster is exotic food. <laughs> The rabbit, come What happened with me? Rabbit. <laughs> rabbit. Iguana, Iguana, say, Iguana. Gerardo. 
Iguana. Garrobo, Cusuco. Yes. Garrobo, Cusuco. Eh. Un taco así. Oh, oh my no, God. No. Eh. They say that it tastes like chicken. It will be true. Do you think it is true? Yes. I haven't tasted. I eat in I ate I ate I ate the snake. 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 Yeah. It's, it's, it's like a chicken. It's like chicken? Oh yes, wow. It's, it's similar. It's chicken similar to the chicken. Is, it's similar. Oh no, yes. I haven't ate anything like that. Yes, tell me. Um, Y en este caso, teacher, aquí en español le voy a preguntar Diga. cómo se para, para responder cómo, cómo, se, cómo se hace específico para responder específicamente. Para responder específicamente la pregunta Have you ever or have you been? Ahí ¿Eh? es este, con el pasado participio del verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces usted, por ejemplo, si le preguntan Have you ever been in Mexico? Entonces usted puede decir, yes, I have or no, I haven't, ¿verdad? Este, ahí es con el auxiliar have, el que nosotros vamos a estar utilizando. Yes, I have or no, I haven't. Por ejemplo, si le preguntan, have you ever tried, um, for example, Kuzuko, right? Um, no, I haven't tried Kuzuko or yes, I have tried Kuzuko. So ahí este, solamente yes, I have or no, I haven't. Ahí Thank you, teacher. You're um, welcome. Tenía esa duda, pero ya me sacó el, de la de incertidumbre. Thank you, thank you. Ya lo vamos a ver. De hecho, este, dentro de un par de minutos, en lo que ustedes están haciendo esto, lo vamos a ver. Eh, porque vamos a ver el presente, presente perfecto. Era lo que les mencionaba hace un, un rato, hace unas clases atrás, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a estar viendo y es así como se contesta, ¿verdad? Eso solamente para que ustedes platicaran un poco y tuvieran un poquito de, de interacción, ¿verdad? No necesariamente para que me produzcan toda la, la, la oración porque no, no, es ese la, no era ese el objetivo, sino solamente que tengan un poco de interacción, pero se contesta así, yes I have or no I haven't. Pregunta. Es, es, una, es una respuesta corta, teacher. No, no, sí. no, no procede a dar una explicación, sino que yes, I have o no, I haven't. Eso es correcto. Sí, este, uh -huh. es una yes, no question, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Por lo general en las yes, no questions, eh, el americano y el inglés se limitan a decirle un sí o un no. En nuestra... En cultura quizás suena más, suena pesado, porque siempre, siempre tendemos a decir, no, es que fíjate, hace, dice, es, es. Uh -huh. uh -huh. esto y esto. Uh -huh. Exactamente. Sí, cuando, sí. cuando realmente lo que nos están preguntando es, y una respuesta sí, no. corta. Uh -huh. Exacto, sí, uh -huh. Uh -huh. una respuesta claro. corta. Sí puede darse en nuestra, bueno, nuestro latino, ¿verdad? In the Latin Spanish, it might be misunderstood podría ser mal interpretada, ¿verdad? La situación, pues como ustedes dicen, se puede escuchar bastante pesado, pero una vez ustedes se acostumbren, eh, lo van a hacer parte de su vida, lo van a ver, ustedes también se van a acostumbrar a contestar sí o simple y sencillamente no. Entonces, este, es cuestión de costumbre. El americano es así, él espera que usted le diga sí y no. Y si ellos le preguntan por qué, es ahí donde usted tiene que dar las razones, pero antes no. Entonces, es, uh -huh. es, se van ustedes a, a acostumbrar un, un poco a eso, ya lo van a ver conforme pase el tiempo. Entre más lo practiquen, más se van a ir acostumbrando. Aunque para nosotros uh -huh. sí se escucha bastante eh, bien dura la respuesta, algo pesadita, pues uh -huh. no es nuestra cultura. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So continue practicing. I need to see the other ones. Good job. Okay. You're doing good. Okay. Thank you. Miss Blanquita, you are here? Yes, I'm here. Sorry, I'm late. It's okay. I'm going to assign you to a breakup room. We are in rooms at the moment. We are discussing the picture that I sent to the WhatsApp group. It's just discussing about food, right? 
the food that um, the the ethnical food or something that if you have ever tried the crickets, right? As we were the discussing, yes. yes, a couple of a uh, couple of classes ago. So I'm yes. going to send you to the group number two. Okay. All right. Thank you. This reading. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm late. It's okay. Not a problem. The important thank thing you. is that you are here. Yeah. Thank you. Had ever three onions. Ajá. Any these dishes? Eh, como que alguna vez has probado este plato de. Ajá. Uh -huh. Any of the dishes? Which one? Ajá. O, uh -huh. o cuál te gustaría probar? Ajá. The of De los, de los tres de, opciones que hay ajá ya sea burgoy eh, fey fey o la creo que de los de los fours que está ahí sí bueno. fíjese que ese ay lamb tarin well, es que a saber si es como el fiambre Bueno, yo tampoco nunca he probado esa cosa del fiambre, pero. Sí, yes. No. Hello. El fish is. Hello, teacher. Hello. El lamp no. es cordero. Ay, es cierto, teacher. Uh -huh. Es cordero. No es carne roja, es carne blanca. Carne. Exacto. One got vegetables, fruta, especias. Y está cocinado en un. Como en un, um, como una especie de, 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 de tarro o de bol especial, que si no me equivoco, ese clay es de, um, ¿cómo se llama esto? Es como de cerámica. Entonces, ah. ahí mismo donde es cocinado, es servido. Ya les busco que es el clay. Pero ese es, eh, lamp es cordero. Ah, es cierto. Cordero. Sí. Chiche, Would you like curry. to try it? Dígame. El curry. El curry, yes. fish curry. This fish curry, what happened is that they use the head of the fish and they cook it with rice. What happened is that the curry, lo que pasa es que el curry es una especie de arroz, eh, es una especie de arroz oriental, es una especie de arroz japonés al cual va aderezado con una especie de salsa. Entonces, eh, allí en realidad, en esta, en, esta, en esta imagen no se ve bien el arroz, pero ese arroz es como que usted ve, ve de gracia una especie de, de, de montañita, lo hacen ellos, y encima ponen la salsa, que es la que ellos cocinan. Es un plato oriental, y este con cabeza de pescado, la salsa está hecha de cabeza de pescado. Pues se dice fish head curry y es acá parece que es de, de Singapur es un es un es un plato oriental okay. los japoneses también lo hacen y se puede ir mencionar teacher el fish head uh, uh, curry and rice and rice yes fish head curry and rice yes it goes rice aquí se ve como que si fuera una sopa sí es una imagen pero no se ve bien se ve como sí. que es una soup pero no es una soup, es el, el plato, la montañita del, del arroz y encima va eso. Entonces es una, una cosa bien extraña, ¿verdad? Eh, no, quizás no extraña, pero para nosotros sí, un poco podríamos decirlo. Sí, porque aquí cuando uno pide sopa de, de digamos, de, de, de sopa de frijoles, le, le van a echar arroz, ¿verdad? Y con uh -huh. arroz. Y con arroz, sí. sí, que le ponen el arroz, la cebolla morada, ¿verdad? La gente que le gusta la cebolla morada, el, el aboqueiro y todo lo demás. Sí. Yes. Uh -huh. Ok. El clay, es, eh, dígame. El lan, eh, es el, el, es el lan. Pero dice la teacha. El lan, tiny, tiny, eh, ¿verdad? Sí. El lan, tiny. Sí, lan, tiny. Yes. 
es una especie de, de un plato, el clay, era lo que les comentaba, es, eh, es de barro, ¿verdad? Es una, es como un bol, un bol, ¿verdad? Los bols son los platos hondos que nosotros le llamamos, yeah. esos bols, entonces ellos en ese mismo que hacen la mezcla, ahí mismo lo cocinan, y ahí mismo se sirve a la persona, entonces es, es cocinado así de esa manera. Lo único que tiene acá de, de especial es de que lleva frutas y verduras, ¿verdad? Exactamente qué frutas lleva, no lo sé, pero sí es cocinado junto con todo en el mismo plato y en ese mismo plato se sirve. Es cocinado al lente prácticamente. Va sí. acompañado entonces de, de vegetables. 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 Yes. Vegetables. 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 What happened is that the Morocco, the Morocco the clay food, is, mm -hmm. clay is clay. barro. El clay es el barro. Es el barro. O la Pero arcilla. No el, mm -hmm. O sea que no es el barro que, que conocemos aquí. Debe ser es, otro es como las ollitas de barro, ¿verdad, teacher? A lo mejor. Que hay sí. que hacerlo. No, este, no sé si, si alguna vez han tenido la oportunidad de, de, de ir a alguna parte en Chalatenango. En Chalatenango ellos... Uh, bueno, herben, ¿verdad? Lo que es el, el, el café en una olla de barro ah, y no, lo endulzan no, con sí. dulce de panela, ¿verdad? Ay, Entonces, sí. lo mismo pasa acá. Ellos eh, tienen sus los bols, ¿verdad? Porque es como un, una especie de, de plato hondo, lo que nosotros llamamos plato hondo. Ellos tienen esos bols y ahí mismo eh, hacen todo, hacen toda la mezcla y allí lo cocinan y ahí se sirve. Entonces, lo mismo que lo cocinan, es lo mismo lo sirven. Mm -hmm. Okay, genial, yeah. delicious. Delicious, yes. <laughs> What happened is that this type of food, the Moroccan food, is really, really spicy. They got a lot of species there. I mean, the taste is good, but they got a lot of things that they put it in. Yeah. Yes, and the the rice and the and the how do you say your oh yeah, the oya oh yeah, seria teacher. O oh, las ollas es la, la cacerola, ¿verdad? La cacerola Ajá. tal cual, esa es la pan. Esa ah, la pan. De, Ajá. A clay. Uh -huh. A clay pan. Clay pan. Clay pan. Clay pan en de make yes. right is delicious. Really? Yes. I have yes. never had tried that. Yes, mm -hmm. it is delicious in the, delicious. In the eh, se le pone sobre una se le po, cuando ya está el arroz se le pone una hoja de huerta oh wow really yes teacher. yes wow teacher. I yes. never have tried that <laughs> nunca he intentado eso I never have tried that but wow that's wonderful so yes. that's really good talking about food is really yummy <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so continue practicing. I would like to hear your partners, okay. right? So you are doing really good. Good job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Mercado market. Oh, yes. I, I, market. I'm market. Yeah. Supermercado, supermarket, ¿no? Yes. Ah, uh, ok, ok. Uh, and you, have you ever in market? In, in, uh, well, only in supermarket, but uh, the oh. market is, is more, es more cheap. But supermarket is more expensive. And sometimes. Ok. Ok. okay. If I, I have is Go, go going to with my wife and market and uh, the after a uh, supermarket is for good uh, and in week and weekend in week weekend. Weekend. okay weekend Saturday or, more, or Sunday? Saturday, Saturday. Saturday, okay. I Sunday is... Hello. 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 Hello.
Hi, teacher. Oh, do you work in a call center? <laughs> yes, we talking about. Uh, Today was okay. Labor Day. Yes. Uh, no labor day, but we talk and um, we I feel. No, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Cómo nos sentimos? How How you feel? How, how you, you feel regarding your work? Yes. How you okay. feel? All right. And the, in the, how do you say ambiente? O sea, el ambiente de trabajo. Eh, environment. Yes, environment. Is it good? Not good? Is it good? Not good? Yeah. Is it good for me? Is it good for you? Yeah. Some, some days are oh, very hard. Okay. Uh, and today you were back to back? I don't understand back to back. Back to back is uh, whenever you have a call after call and then and so on. Or you uh, are not taking calls, you are on chat. No, no, I have in security area. Oh, you are in a security area. Oh, I see. Yes. But I need to talk with the um, agents. With the agents? Yes. Okay, oh, I see. I see. Yeah. yeah. I do have a part time job as well. Yeah. I do take calls too. So, yeah, yeah I do. I do. And today, today was really, well, it was just an unusual day because uh, there is a holiday there. It's a uh, Labor Day or the other trabajo, yeah. So it was when? not so, so really. I'm sorry. When? Today. Labor Day. Today. today? In the United States. Oh my yes. God. Yes, oh. it's uh, the holiday. So most likely everyone has the day off and there was not a lot of calls, but uh, we know that tomorrow it's going to be hard. Yes. Yes, tomorrow is going to be hard. How is the schedule of your schedule? Schedule. 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 Yeah, uh, the schedule, it's a pretty nice schedule because I'm uh, getting in at 9 a.m. in the morning and I get off at 4.30 p.m. Oh, okay. Yes, it's, it's okay. Early. I'm so sorry. What was that? Not early. Not early. No, what happened is that they didn't offer to me to get in early in the morning. Uh, they offered to me just uh, around 9 or 8 a.m. So I prefer, to be honest, I used to work from 5.30 a.m. to 12.30. So I love that. I used to work from very early in the morning. The better. Yes, it's better. It's better. So I'm going to close the breakup rooms at the moment. So we're going to continue with the class. Okay. I'm glad that you were practicing a little bit and talking about yourself too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're more than welcome. Sorry that I didn't place my camera, but I was closing my windows. It uh, seems to be that it's gonna rain in a couple of minutes. So there is a lot of wind at the moment. That's why uh, we are going to wait for Miguel, Milton and Regina because they are still in the breakup room. So it's about to close. It's missing a couple of seconds. And we are gonna take a little bit of time regarding to this. And as well, 
regarding to the dialogue that I've prepared for you. So this is something uh, that we were coming and practicing since the very beginning of the class regarding to the pronunciation is the pronunciation of the ED, which is the simple past form of the verse. So um, as we were discussing, right, as I was telling to you, there are three different pronunciations, right? ED, and D, right? So it depends on what your verb ended up that's the way that you are going to give the pronunciation to them, right? So for examples, the verbs that are ending in T and D, basically you pronounce it at the end, want it, need it, right? So that it would be the pronunciation. If your verbs are ending in this uh, specific combination of vowels or just in this specific vowel, you are going to pronounce as a T, helped it, Loved it, watched it, watched it, loved it, briefed it, kissed it, danced it, fits it. So that one, it is t -t -t at the end, right? Um, if it will be on these letters, right? On these uh, vowels, you are going to be pronounced as a T. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. So these ones, um, some of the letters you might be noticed that it's saying voice in voiceless, right? Basically, the voice in the voiceless are the ones that has a vibration or doesn't have a vibration on it. For example, the case P, right? P, 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 it has the sound at the end of, right? That one year voice, in this case, you're throw right doesn't have any vibration on however for the uh, 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 it has a vibration on it right r r and so on so that it will be regarding to the voice and the voiceless this you don't have to remember you see it's not necessary what you need to remember are these combinations right at least one of the two because in that way, you are going to be able to identify which one goes with T and which one goes with T. Eh, ¿Qué dijimos acá, verdad? En este caso, regálenme un segundo. En este caso, verdad, tenemos eh, la pronunciación de ED, de la forma ED o de los verbos eh, en pasado simple. ¿Qué verbos? Pues estos verbos son los verbos regulares. La mayoría de ellos, ¿verdad? Nosotros lo hacemos con una D al final, lo cual no está mal, pero tiene sus diferentes pronunciaciones. ¿Y cómo se sabe esto? Pues esto va con concerniente a las, a las consonantes que tienen al final, ¿verdad? Si en dado caso usted eh, le termina con la consonante T, con la consonante D, con la consonante P, con la K, con la SH y así sucesivamente, es ahí donde usted va a denotar qué sonido es el que va a llevar. Los que terminan en estas combinaciones de consonantes, pues tenemos la letra T. Los que terminan en estas consonantes se van con la letra D y pues la T y la D van con ID. Si usted no tiene que recordarlos todos, ¿verdad? Sino que simple y sencillamente recordarse de un solo grupo, de dos de ellos, ¿verdad? T y D y D, y de uno de los demás para poder hacer la discriminación, ¿verdad? De cada uno de ellos. En el caso de los voice sounds, ¿verdad? Era lo que les comentaba. Los voice sounds producen una vibración en su garganta, ¿verdad? Por eso decía acá que se toque su garganta y lo va a sentir. En el cambio de los voiceless no lo producen. Los voiceless se llaman sonidos que se detienen, ¿verdad? En este caso, que no tienen ninguna continuidad. ¿Por qué no tienen ninguna continuidad? Porque se detienen en solamente el sonido y el aire. En cambio, los voice, lo que ellos hacen es que vibra acá. ¿Tienen que recordar ustedes eso? No. Esto es solamente por curiosidad si ustedes lo, lo quisieran saber a qué se refiere con voice y a qué se refiere con voiceless. Lo importante que ustedes puedan recordar son estos, ¿verdad? Eh, solamente eso, eh, en el caso de la pronunciación, puesto cuando las estaba escuchando, escuché algunas pronunciaciones que no, que no están bien, ¿verdad? 
eh, y tenemos que producirlas de mejor manera. Entonces, eso es para que ustedes lo recuerden, ¿verdad? Solamente. Era como un pequeño, a little commercial between the class, right? Any questions so far? Do you have any question? No? No teacher. question, teacher. <laughs> Me habló. Sí, yes. I heard no teacher or yes teacher. I'm sorry. No. Yes teacher. Yes teacher. Do you have questions? No. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, uh, go ahead. Tell me. Okay. Is, is the, the pronunciation is incorrect? It, it, but uh, I think uh, we need that you that you say uh, tell us uh, what is the the incorrect. Oh, I'm sorry. That one. What happened is that I don't remember it, right? What happened is that I don't want to remember. I don't remember it. I just was li listening to you, but I didn't take note on it. No les tomé ah, okay. nota, verdad? Me van a disculpar okay. por eso. Dígame. Okay, les... pero si no nos ayuda, nos ayuda bastante, ahí, teacher, porque sí, verdad? Ya cuando dicen tal palabra pronunciado tal de esto, verdad? Eso mm. nos ayuda bastante para ir corrigiendo. Yes. Vaya, en el caso que les escuchaba era la más común porque estábamos hablando de platos de comida, era tried, ¿verdad? Entonces muchos me decían try it, try it, no es try it. Ah, only, only try. Tried. 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 tried, 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 yes. Aquí al final, probé. exactamente, probé, aquí al final es la de, porque ustedes me decían try it, try it. Entonces ese try it suena como acá, como una ID, pero no, es solamente una D, es tried, 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 tried. tried. Okay. La D es, mm, mm, ¿verdad? Ese sonido, es un sonido bien extraño, es, mm, mm, ¿verdad? Como que usted estuviera haciendo una pequeña fuerza en su garganta. Y este sonido es una, helped, 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 helped. Entonces ya no suena como una D, ¿verdad? Si usted me dice help it, help it, sí le van a entender, pero no es así, es helped, helped, ¿verdad? Entonces este es tried, 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 tried. tried. Okay. no tried, tried. that's tried. tried, tried, yes. That one era la que más les escuché. Otra, no les recuerdo porque no tomé nota, lo lamento mucho. La próxima sí le voy a tomar nota. Okay. Teacher, how do you yeah, say me. how do you say BV? Uh, yo les contaba a las chicas de que mm -hmm. yo viví tanto tiempo en, en México. Yo, mm -hmm. yo, I was live. No, it's correct. Remember, uh, that one ends in what? It ends in a vowel, right? But when I was V. ¿O qué me quería decir? Yo viví. Yo viví. Cuando Ajá. yo viví. Ah. Así como cuando yo viví en México, probé tal cosa, les dije yo. Ajá. When I was in Mexico. When, When I, I was, was in Mexico. Cuando yo estaba en México. Pero para decir exactamente viví, it will say, I lived in Mexico. I lived in I Mexico. I lived in Mexico. Uh, no in use the was. No, no using the was. Because okay. if you use the was, you are going to be forced to use the ing form. Si ustedes me utilizan el verbo bien en el pasado, me van a tener que utilizar, eh, por ejemplo, um, let me share with you here. Um, if you use it, uh, you will see at this. Si usted me quiere decir I was y quiere utilizar otro verbo, you will need to use the living. ing form yes i was living but i was this living one, i was living yes but this one is a past continuous which is mean that you are still in the same country mm -hmm. but not in the same place right oh okay when i yeah. entonces es como decir cuando vivía en san salvador o vivía en santana yes cuando estaba viviendo Okay. 
cuando estaba viviendo. Este va a ser, este sería así. So this one, it, it will be uh, past, past continuous. I'm sorry, past continuous. Uh -huh. Yes, pasado continuo. Yes. Okay. You Thank are you. in the same country, but not in the same city. Yeah. Okay. Teacher. Okay. Someone you. else? Yes. Teacher, is, is correct is in, the, in the same case, is I say, did you live uh, Mexico? Uh, uh, Mexico? Okay. Did you, uh, live? Did you live? Yes. Uh, yes. It's correct to say, did you live? Did you live in Mexico? In Mexico? Yes. You can say it like that. Uh, did you live in Mexico? Yes, you can say that one. But in this one, uh, remember that this tense, it is simple past. And simple past is an action that started in the past and ended up in the same past. El pasado simple es una acción que comenzó en el pasado y ya terminó en el pasado. Aquí la persona um, ya no más, ¿verdad? Eh, ya no más está allá y probablemente no va a regresar. En el caso del pasado perfecto, Have you ever lived in Mexico, right? Have you ever lived in Mexico? So these actions, right? Um, they are referring to an action that might have started in the past, but it's still continue in the present, right? Or a period of time that has not finished yet. So, eh, este tiempo es diferente porque este es un presente perfecto. Puede Probablemente, continuar. exactamente, sí, puede continuar. Puede que eh, continúe o no. Ahí depende, ¿verdad? Es, es bastante variante. Ya lo vamos a ver en detalle también porque vamos a ver para qué se usa, por qué se usa, ¿verdad? Okay. Todos esos detalles, sí. Vamos a ver todos esos pequeñitos detalles. Is there any other question, my friends? No? No, no you can continue. No. All right, thank you. So um, look, if by any change, right, here is raining and it is a really bad rain. Um, if by any change my electricity goes down, right, I'm gonna send it to you a WhatsApp message. So I hope that it will be just a power bounce in case that that happened and we can continue with the class, right? In case that that It's happened. raining in here. It's raining there too? Yes. Yes, here is really bad. It's a really bad raining. It's windy and it's uh, are kind of violent, I can say, right? So yes. let's see. Thank you for sharing, Blanquita. Really appreciate it. I thought that it was just only here that it was raining really bad. It's raining very hard very hard very yes okay yeah here as well it's uh crazy right i wish that yes. i can show you right my window but no uh let's see uh here i have a dialogue this have you ever right these people or these two guys right steve and kathy they are so they are trying right new dishes in a different country so we are going to go ahead and listen the conversation. Please uh, let me know if you are able to listen. Page 22, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest. Are you able to listen? Yes. 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 All right. So, but that one, no, that one is the rest of the conversation, right? Unit four. There we go. I've never heard of that. Page 22, Exercise 2, Conversation. Have you ever... Part A, Listen and Practice. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? 
I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay. So would you like to listen it once again? Yes, please. Yes. All right, so the and, and what does it mean? What is that? The snails, the snails son los caracoles. Ah, okay. Yes. Mm, okay. In French, uh, some of the restaurants, they got it in French, and they are called escargot. Escargot. French, French yes. teacher. In French. Thank French you. Brains. You're welcome. I'm sorry, what was that? French, French brains. The fried brains. 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 Yes, brain, brain. yes, brain. Brain. Cerebro. Cerebro. Ah, okay. Yes, fried brains. Cerebro fritos. Kind, kind of, of cannibal, right? What's up? Cannibal lecture. <laughs> yes. Yes. Cannibal lecture. Yeah. Have you, ever, have you ever watched that uh, that movie? Yes. Have you ever watched that movie? Yes. It's kind of crazy, right? But this isn't a very conversation. Good. I think it's a very good movie, someone said, okay? Listen. Page 22, exercise 2, conversation. Have you ever... Part A, listen and practice. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, so let's see. We are going to listen a second report. It says, listen the rest of the conversation, how Steve liked the fried friends and what else did he order? So we are going to be looking for this specific information. If, if he Steve likes the fried brains that he ordered and what else he orders on. Yes, ready? Yes? Yes. Yes. All right. So let's see then. Page 22, exercise 2, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How did Steve like the fried brains? What else did he order? Oh, good. Here comes our server now. Here are your snails. And for you, sir, the fried brains. Thank you. Mmm, these snails are delicious. How are the brains? Well, I think they're... Yuck. Oh, sorry. I guess brains are too strange for me. Um, I think I'm going to order something else, if you don't mind. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Excuse me. Yes? Um, I really don't care for this appetizer. Could you bring me something else? Yes, of course. What would you like instead? Try the snails. No, I don't think so. I'll tell you what. Just forget an appetizer for me and bring me a nice, juicy hamburger with french fries and a large soda. So let's see. Would you like to listen in once again to get the information? Yes, no? Yes. 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 All right. All right. So let's listen in once again. Page 22, exercise 2, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How did Steve like the fried brains? What else did he order? Oh, good. Here comes our server now. Here are your snails. And for you, sir, the fried brains. Thank you. Mmm, these snails are delicious. How are the brains? Well, I think they're... Yuck. Oh, sorry. I guess brains are too strange for me. Um, I think I'm going to order something else, if you don't mind. Oh, sure. Go ahead. 
Excuse me. Yes. Um, I really don't care for this appetizer. Could you bring me something else? Yes, of course. What would you like instead? Try the snails. No, I don't think so. I'll tell you what. Just forget an appetizer for me and bring me a nice, juicy hamburger with French fries and a large soda. All right. So let's see. What does he happen with the brains? What happened with the brains? Uh -huh. don't he like don't it. like it. He, don't he didn't like it. like it, right? He didn't like it. No, nah, no, no. Not all, right? Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And what else did he order? Hamburger. Hamburger. Uh, hamburger. French fries. French fries. French fries. Hamburger. French yeah. fries and, and large soda. And large soda. Right? And large yes. soda, right? Yes. Would you like to try a brain, a fried brain, in your opinion? What do you think? No. Oh, thank you. No. I, I agree with him. No. <laughs> Did you agree with him? Yes, tell me. The food, the Frankenstein food. Frankenstein Frank, food? <laughs> brain brain. No. Um, well, in different countries like French, Turkey, China, uh, Pakistan and so many other countries, they eat brains. It's Only for it's real. Teacher, in the, Tell me. In, the, in the movie, in the movie, Indiana Jones, he uh, a frame fries, the monkey. Oh, they, oh they, yes. They eat yes. Yes, yes, oh, it was showing, Guacatea. yes. In India, uh, in some parts of India, in the south of India, they eat it. Uh, they eat most likely, uh, what they do it is uh, the horses, rabbits, and goats, right? So they eat the brains from that uh, animals as well. So mm. basically, uh, as well in French, right? They eat it too. So yeah, it's so like uh, cannibals. <laughs> Somehow, Animal. yes, right? It's uh, just uh, something different, even though it is from animals, right? Not from human people, but uh, I think that, that one is kind of strange, strange, right? Even though the snails are strange, right? Teacher, for, Tell me. for example, for example, in, in El Salvador, is is so is it so is so thick, uh, kusuko. The kusuko. Yes. Do you yeah. do you like? Do you like? No, it? I haven't no. tried it. You I try. haven't tried okay. it. Yes. Uh, no, 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 never, ever. Uh, not a snake. Not a kusuko, teacher. Try kusuko with kusuko. tomato. <laughs> yes. I kusuko would... with the, with tomato and onion. Like in tomato. En el guaste. En el guaste. Okay. So if I have the opportunity, if I ever have the opportunity to eat uh, one of those things, I will definitely do it, right? I haven't had the opportunity, either the snake, some people, they were saying that uh, in the practice that we were having, they were eating a snake, but I haven't tried it, right? I haven't tried it. Uh, rabbit, either. Uh, I haven't tried it, the rabbit. Um, some other people, um, I don't know, have you ever tried uh, Peliway? The Peliway? Okay, no. good very good. Very good. good. Okay. And, hey. and you probably a duck? The duck? No. Yes. But the you Chinese study. people say that it's delicious. Yes, it's very, very delicious duck. Have you tried it? Yes, I try. I, uh, I prove. Uh, prove. Uh, I, I tried it. I yes, tried, tried it. Yes. Duck. Duck. Okay. Oh, the duck is delicious. Oh wow! Wow. Do you like I it? Haven't. More, yes. more than the chicken. The chicken? More Similar to more, more, more like chicken. chicken. Okay. Oh. Delicious. Delicious. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow. 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 Yes. Delicious is a lobster. Is the lobsters. Very, very, the lobster. Yes. On you the have beach. A hungry. 
<laughs> yes, we are all ready. Oh, hey, what, what happened? Yes, um, the lobsters um always be wanted to try it, but they cook the lobster alive. So I can understand that. They cook the what? lobster at life. Why? While the lobster is alive, they place it into the the boiled water. So I don't know. I don't know. That one I cannot understand it. I'm always been curious to try the lobster, but since I know the way how they cook, uh, I'm not able to. I'm not okay. able to. The, yes. pro the problem is, is, is expensive, very expensive. Yes, it's expensive. Yes, if you request a lobster covered with shrimps, it's really expensive. It's really expensive, which is really expensive. As well, the octopus, it's expensive too. But it's delicious. It's delicious, yes. The octopus and is octopus delicious. And in calamar? Mm, the calamar is something different. Uh, we are yes. not saying octopus. The octopus is uh, the octopus is the octopus, right? Uh, yes. The calamar is something different. The calamar is not the same as the octopus. Um, they are from the same family, but they are not the same. Let me just one second. All right. Is this this Quick, the squeak. The oh squeak. my God. Yes, the squeak. 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 Yes, the squeak. Is your in the squeak? No, okay. Yes. Squeak. That one is the calamar, right? The octopus is the octopus. Someone was saying something. Yes. Dear. Meet the Which, Which deer. one? Dear. Banana uh, teacher. Oh, the oh. deer. Wait. No, I haven't deer. tried the deer. <laughs> Have you ever? Yes? I have. Oh, yes, wow. Have. Is it delicious? Delicious. Um, right. And, como digo, perdón. It's like a chicken. <laughs> it's like a chicken too? <laughs> or it's like, uh, like the beef from the cow? ¿A qué sabe? ¿Sabe como a pollo o como a filete? De, de, de res. It's similar uh, Como filete, teacher, uh, pero es buena. Como frijol de blanco, teacher. Como frijol de blanco. Eso le iba a decir en inglés, pero no. <laughs> All right. Similar to the beef with the white. Similar uh, to beef and rice. Beef. Okay. And rice. And rice, okay. Well, I seen that you have tried different things along your life huh <laughs> always have very hungry <laughs> yeah. yes me too all mm. right i mm. see i see then that's wonderful so yeah uh, it's good to try good things right i hope that someday i have the opportunity to try different things as you have so we are um it's already nine o'clock at the moment we are going to continue tomorrow right after the conversation. Uh, we are going to practice the conversation in pairs. Uh, the tomorrow I'm going to send it to you. I'm sorry, what was that? The pronunciation is to the dialogue. Yes, uh, we are going to practice the pronunciation. Tomorrow, in the yes. yes. I'm going to be praising you in groups. It's easier for me to place you in groups and then hearing you. So I'm gonna place you in groups while you are practicing. And then we are gonna study in, uh, what is in this in this session, right? Simple pass and pass perfect. So it's already one hour, what is it, uh, nine? Is there any question or something else before that we go? No questions. No, no questions. questions. No question for today. All right. I'm so sorry. What was that? No question for today. <laughs> okay, questions for today. Okay. Yes, so it was a real tomorrow, pleasure. Okay. Tomorrow, yes. tomorrow is another day, teacher. Yes. yes. Tomorrow is another mm -hmm. day and we are almost done with the week, right? Y casi terminamos con la semana. Two days more. Okay. <laughs> yes. All okay. right. So have a wonderful night. Take care. Rest and relax. We will see us tomorrow. Any questions? Okay. Take care. Okay, Good night. See you. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.